Hello BCS family, Pastor Luke Rex here from Heritage Baptist Church. Some of you may know me, many of you may not. My wife is Kelly Rex who teaches kindergarten and we're the proud parents of Faith, Roman, Preston, Analia, and I think there's one more, yes, Shyla. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> this morning we're sitting down in our kitchen area and myself and Kelly and Faith were discussing COVID and how it's affected our, our personal lives, our you know, work lives, how it's affected school, how, it's affected, how it has affected church. And as we're discussing this, Kelly had the idea that we were going to make COVID into an acronym. So we started brainstorming some stuff. Um, some of them were decent, some of them were really bad. Uh, and I think we kind of settled on this idea of COVID. Claiming our victory in darkness. This drew me to Matthew 5 with the Beatitudes with, with Jesus Christ and his teaching here. And claiming a victory, to, in my thoughts, is also claiming the reality of how blessed we are as a people. So let me read Matthew 5, starting in verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for, the, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the gentle. For they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Blessed are those who have been persecuted for the sake of righteousness. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven, and blessed are you when people insult you and persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. And now let me read verse 12 here. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward in heaven is great. Verse 13, it says, you are then to be salt of the earth. Right? Verse 14, that you are to be light to the world. So and even in the midst of this place that maybe we're feeling like the darkness is coming in, we can say, COVID, I'm going to claim our victory in the darkness. I hope that this day, that you will be able to take that spirit, that position of being blessed, and then the, the, the attitude of being salt and light to the world. And in some way, maybe that's an email, maybe it's a phone call, maybe it's a text message, maybe it's a handwritten letter. Some of us still do that sometimes. In some way, demonstrate to our world that we are salt and light and that there is great hope and there is a powerful and purposeful plan that God has for all of this in our lives. So I hope this day you'll take the challenge of living out of a life that's blessed, being salt and light to this world and reaching someone today with a positive word that God is good.